In addition to religious conflict in Germany and France, we also have religious conflict within the Netherlands. Uh, there's national resentment that's compounding this religious hatred. Uh, for almost a century, the Netherlands, or the Low Countries, were dominated by the Habsburg Empire and the Habsburg family. The Netherlands prospered from trade. In fact, the Netherlands had the greatest per capita wealth in all of Europe, and the city of Antwerp was the leading commercial and financial center of all of Northern Europe. Moreover, the half-century long rule of the Habsburg Charles V had been popular because Charles had been born in Belgium, the, in, the, in these low countries, and therefore they said he felt a sense of rapport with his subjects, and they allowed him a degree of, of self-government, and even religious toleration. But 1556 witnesses the abdication of Charles V, and remember, he's the lonely Holy Roman Emperor, Emperor to do it. And he cedes not only the Netherlands, but Spain, Spanish America, half of, of Italy, to his son, Philip II. And unlike Charles, uh, Philip had been born in Spain, so he made Spain his residence and in the focus of his policy. He viewed the Netherlands primarily as a rich source of income that could use, he could use to pursue French, uh, Spanish interests. Philip taxed the Netherlands heavily and was resented by Dutch leaders. To make matters worse, the Netherlands were a hotbed of Calvinist Protestantism. These, there were more Calvinists in Antwerp than there were in Geneva. There was, this was a situation that Philip, that Philip II could not tolerate. Philip was an ardent Catholic, a zealot, who subscribed wholeheartedly to the goals of the Counter-Reformation. He was dedicated to wiping Protestantism off the map. The situation in the Netherlands was far more con more complex than a religious crisis. The leader of the resistance to Philip, his name was William the Silent, was at first not a Calvinist, but a Catholic. And the territories that ultimately succeeded in breaking away from Spanish rule were at first the most Catholic ones in the Low Countries. William the Silent was a prominent nobleman with large, hand, large hand land holdings in the Netherlands. In 1566, he and other local Catholic nobles appealed to Philip to allow for toleration of, of Protestants. Philip decided to dispatch an army of 10,000 to wipe out Protestantism in the Low Countries. The Spanish commander, his name was Duke of Alba, uh, triumphed and he would set up a tribunal, and he called it the Council of Blood, which had examined some 12,000 people in the charges of heresy or sedition. Thousands of Protestants would be ex executed. William the Silent would flee the country, and all hope for Netherlands, or at least for a free Netherlands, seemed lost. Although Spain won the first round, the rebels would eventually, eventually would triumph. William the Silent converts to Protestantism and seeks help from the Protestants in France, Germany, and England. He also then organizes bands of sea rovers to basically harass shrimp, uh, ship, uh, Spanish shipping. Additionally, Spanish tyranny helped William's cause, especially when the hated Spanish governor attempted to levy a 10% sales tax. With internal dissatisfaction growing, in 1572 he was able to seize northern Netherlands and even through the north uh, until then had been predominantly Catholic. War continued between Spain and the Netherlands until the Spanish finally agreed to a truce in 1609. Since Spain ceased hostilities, the independence of the northern Dutch Republic was assured. Meanwhile, the northern lowlands, basically Holland, uh, had, which had been Catholic, had converted to Calvinism in reaction to Spanish tyranny, war, and persecution. The south, Belgium, which remained Spanish, returned to be uniformly Catholic.